Hey, science nerds. Uh, we today are checking out Logger Pro and using it to help us find the velocity of a dropped object. Um, we're going to use the software that you're familiar with, but instead of the sonic motion, de motion detectors, we're going to use a tool that it possesses it's called video capture video capture video capture sweet um, so you're gonna need a dropping object and a meter stick and uh, this fancy video so you're gonna drop the ball from a meter or actually whatever height you'd like and that doesn't really matter the higher you drop it from the faster it'll be going on the ground and the harder it'll be to capture it so don't drop it from any less than a meter but maybe don't drop it any higher than three you're going to drop it, and the important part is how fast it's going right before it hits the ground. So the camera doesn't need to see the whole thing. It just needs to see down there. So we're going to zoom in down there. This is the important region where it's moving the fastest. And we're going to try to catch its motion here. You can't see the marks here very well. So we're going to put something really bright on here so you can measure it. And I'll show you why later. Um, so I'm going to put a sticky note. This is at 40. So I'm going to put it right there and the bottom of the lip is at 40. It doesn't really matter where you put it, just as long as you remember what that is and can mark it later. All right, so now I'm gonna drop it from the top and hit video capture start. And one, two, three, drop. Great, hit stop, video capture. All right, now you can close this window here and it'll pop in right here, All right? Enlarge it for now. And what we're going to do is run this bottom bar until you see the ball start falling. All right. Oh, there it goes. So I'm going to go forward a little too far. I'm going to go back. You can just see the bottom of its shadow, and that's where I'm going to start. Cool. So open the toolbar on the side with this. And what we're going to do first is use this, the horizontal ruler. I'm going to click that, and it says set scale. And so from the bottom here, grab and drag to the bottom of this sticky note was 0.4, was 40 centimeters, so 0.4 meters. So that sets the scale. And now what I'm going to do is click this red dot and I'm going to put it on the, the first shadow that I see, the bottom most part of the ball. And it auto advances for me and I'm going to put it on the bottom most part of the ball. And it auto advances for me. I'm going to put it on the bottom most bottom part of the ball, and it auto advances for me. Now I'm not really sure if that uh, helps down there, but I'm just going to click as low as I can. Great. And then the rebound isn't part of the initial fall. So your cursor is still meant to click uh, and include dots. So click on this arrow so you stop including dots. And now we have all the data that we need. And what we can do is close this toolbar, shrink this down, and sort of put it over here to the side. Now notice there are red and blue dots. The red dot is how much where its position is on the x-axis, and the ball isn't moving much, so you can see that the red dot just stays in the same spot. And the blue dot is how it changes on the y-axis and you can see over time and you can see it uh, dropping. So really we don't need the, the x dots and we do need the y dots, except we don't really, I mean we can, we can uh, calculate velocity but we want it just to tell us velocity so I'm just going to click on this and say tell me the velocity in the y direction I hope there's no velocity in the x direction I hope it's not going sideways so just velocity in the y direction so now we only have one set of dots and you can see down here that the velocity is negative 4.8 negative 4.9 negative 5 somewhere around there this dot kind of breaks it up a little bit. This might have been a rebound, right? A, a rebound. So I might not include that and just say, hey, right at the end of the time, you can see this is, po uh, the, the velocity is changing here. Um, let's just take one of these dots and say, hey, all right, maybe negative 4.9. And we'll use that for our velocity for these calculations. Cool? Cool.